I'm here live outside the Gary Coleman Youth Center, where behind me is the setup for today's harvest table. Today they will be selling pizza made from herbs in the garden and cementy lemonade. And soon some community visitors will begin to arrive to purchase some fresh crops. Chicago is known for its great restaurants. Many of these restaurants are using locally grown products. There are a lot of uh, restaurants in Chicago that uh, do a lot of local Midwestern farmers and uh, you know, we're, we try to uh, get as many people involved in that as possible. One group that has gotten involved is the Farm to Fork Business Lab students at the Gary Coleman Youth Center. The fruits and vegetables produced by the students are not only sold to Chicago restaurants, they are available to the community for purchase at the weekly harvest table. At last Friday's harvest table, ABC 7 News was there to watch guest chef Ray Villalobos create meals from the garden's produce. ABC 7 News wasn't the only one excited about this big event. The students were too. It's one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen for a community to come in and meet each other even though they might be neighbors. The harvest table has been such a success that each week the amount of visitors continues to grow. More and more people come every week. It seems like more people come every time we have a harvest table. So I think by the end of um, this um, program, we will have a lot of people that then came to the harvest table. Many people enjoyed their day at the harvest table, from watching the cooking demonstrations to tasting the food. And they can't wait until next week when new crops will be available at the harvest table. I'm so excited about this big event that I might get some myself. So stay tuned for next week's local crop while I go get, while I go get some food for next week's harvest table. For our perspective teams in Chicago, I'm Shamisia Davis.